All right, today is September 1st. The time is 7.05 p.m. and this is our monthly council work session. In attendance is Councilperson McNamara, Councilperson Shrestha, Councilperson Camera, Councilperson Brueger, and myself, Council President Wolf. Uh, the mayor, who is normally in attendance of these, is not. She is uh, out of country uh, celebrating her recent nuptials. And village planner Eric Fisher, who's normally in attendance, has had a family uh, emergency, and he is also not in attendance. So we will start by reviewing the agenda for next Thursday's meeting. Uh, going through reports. The first one that we have anybody representing for would be planning and zoning, and planning and zoning hasn't met since last, so there's no new, nothing new to, uh, to say. I can tell you when the next meeting is if I go to my calendar real quick, but it's like, uh, uh, seven. Hmm? September 7th. September 7th? Look at you. Realize what that was. Oh. Yes, September seventh at seven p.m. All right. Uh, Councilperson Shrest, anything to share uh, or give us a heads up on an MPCA report? Um, so their next meeting is September fourteenth. Um, the only thing that's really changed since the last time that I spoke was they've decided that just with kind of the hoops we would have to get the permit and the village would have to do a whole bunch right now and we're busy with a lot of other stuff so they're going to kind of take and man over the swag idea that we were doing and just keep it separate mm -hmm. that way you know they can sure so they've decided to do that but aside from that that's it sounds good uh might as well right roll right into your communications committee report anything mm -hmm. yeah. so we just met on Monday, yeah, it was Monday. It was Monday. <laughs> Sorry, guys, this week has I'm just trying to this up. Um, so we discussed just a few things. Um, first off, the subscriber list. Barb, what was that accurate? Is she in here? Yeah, 119. 119. Um, email 256 has signed up for our email alert system and that's going well. We're kind of working on doing like weekend recaps and just getting a flow of everything. Um, but Barb has really been handling a lot of that, so. Cool. Um, just we're thinking of new ways to push like any time that we pass like, and I hate this word, it's like one of those words that get me, ordinances. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It sounds weird, it's like one of those ones. Um, anytime that is pushed, anytime legislation comes up that we post on, our social media again just giving another venue of people easily seeing what's going on in our council meetings um chatting with council is happening september 29th um here at seven o'clock i did check with barb and the custodian so we wanted to make sure that we respected everybody's time and do a, a, a more firm time limit, right? Mm -hmm. So we're going from 7 to 8. Uh, topics include the capital projects, building, lakes, garage, amphitheater. Um, and then instead of doing like just an open Q&A, kind of, I guess you would call it a closed Q&A, where anybody can walk up to eat, kind of how we did at the community building um, project. And, and I think that'll allow for a lot more questions in in our time frame and it's also kind of easier to conclude at the end of that sort of post the various available council people around the room and mm -hmm. people can go and ask right they care to ask their questions yep for sure sure um and then the survey um we were kind of discussing do we want to add anything do we want to take it out i did i've been talking to eric what we're doing is we're just going to get that basic kind of like that format sent from 2018 and then we can all review it and say okay maybe we should add this maybe we mm -hmm. should take that out but aside from that that's what we've done and then our next meeting will be since we have chatting for council um, on the 29th our next communication meeting is going to be October 17th and that's it okay. all right finance committee is next uh, finance committee probably uh, so uh, toward the end of this month we will look to have a meeting. It's going to be very preliminary starts to 
2023 budget. So if your constituent committees have any budgetary requests, now's the time to think about those and have them ready with some amount of number and, and reasoning so that they can go to finance committee and we can see if we have the money. What date is that again? Uh, it's not yet scheduled. Okay. And that the what will happen is, um, yeah, what Jeff, Jeffrey's was trying to push back on scheduling that and starting that conversation mm -hmm. too early. Uh, so it'll either be end of this month, beginning of next month. Okay. We'll see. Uh, I'll talk to him another time and when he's comfortable to have that conversation. But what he's starting up with now is pro forma out uh, the 2022 budget, you know, with the appropriate inflationary okay. increases so that we can start from that position. Okay. Uh, Stacy's not here for streets, uh, so moving along, Jason, community. Um, yep, I had a community meeting uh, a week and a half ago. Uh, kind of talked about uh, some pool uh, items, um, you know, the uh, wrap up of the season basically, and then um, some thoughts for next year already. Um, talked about um, getting our landscaping cleaned up especially around the entrances, trying to focus there first. And um, um, mm -hmm. I can't remember what the other topic was we covered, but um, um, I, think. Hmm? I, th I felt like there was one more. Um, oh, the uh, amphitheater. Ah. Just the, you know, just starting the conversations around what that looks like so what we can make rules. recommendations. Uh -huh. yep. mm -hmm. So. Um, yeah, that's about it right yep. now. So I was there at that meeting, and there were yeah. a lot of potential budgetary items. Yes, so yes, several the of sooner, them. <laughs> the sooner we can have good ideas around those numbers yeah. so that we can start working them into the budget, the better. Absolutely, yeah. Uh, yeah. Safety Committee, Councilperson McNamara. Well, we met um, on about a week and a half ago, just before the community meeting, and um, the major topic of discussion was uh, making signage uniform, which was determined to be, well, most of you were there, fairly, um, a fairly um, difficult ask, um, especially when you consider logistically the, you know, addition of these signs. We do have um, means to ensure, or I guess for lack of a better word, enforce um, appropriately visible address signage in our code. So I believe, if I'm not misremembering or misreading the room, that the consensus was largely to remain in our current state. Um, we also discussed signage for the Farview corridor with the roads and received the um, information that all the requested signage is on order. So, yep. mm -hmm. currently, safety committee um, does not have any um, urgent ongoing business. So, I think no. my oh, uh, go ahead. Well, I was just going to say because I I had heard and seen some things popping up about the whole you know signage on houses and stuff. Mm -hmm. Where did that come from? So I believe it was if actually that makes, asked that, from emergency services. Was that was that an ask from them? Police or uh, okay. Or ambulance who had difficulty locating a particular residence. So that, that's where I thought it probably yeah. would have been, is, is where that would have started. And yeah, and my in that meeting, I think part of what I remember we had said was that we would go back and revisit the current code because right. we didn't mm -hmm. have it our, at our fingertips. Right. And luckily enough, uh, one of our residents who listened to the recording mm -hmm. chimed in and shared with us uh, code 1480.13, premises uh, section D. Premises identification building shall have approved address numbers placed in a position to be plainly legible and visible from the street or road fronting the property. These numbers shall contrast with their background. Address numbers shall be in Arabic numerals or alphabet letters. Numbers shall be a minimum of four inches high with a minimum stroke width of five tenths of an inch. Five tenths of an inch is a really weird way to say half inch, but yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. what that is. Um, and then compliance 
uh, in code 1280.02, signs defined, compliance, every building must display its assigned postal street number clearly. Uh, so those are the two codes that, um, without asking legal counsel to comb through the code, uh, that seem to be what is germane. Um, so if we wanted to continue the conversation of is uh, alpha four inch tall, minimum half inch wide stroke uh, and contrasting colors, right? We could enhance that in other ways. We could, re we could require it to be lit to a particular standard. We could, right, but that's, I don't know if we want to have that discussion now or if you want to take that back to a safety committee, but that's really the, I think the first conversation that should be had around that, right? Yeah, yeah. We can. What, um, what about also um, having it posted in more than one place on the property? Like I know mailboxes usually have it mm -hmm. in addition to the house. I don't know if it's required to have them on mailboxes. I, I, well, I, I, I mean, something probably I does, but... If they obviously we don't require it on mailboxes, but right. I think the post office does. It might, yeah. I don't know what their requirements are. I'm taking no one here does. So it sounds either. like our, our bases are covered from a code standpoint. I guess it's it, right. Well, but it's not. Which means it sounds like, and what I would want to to say is, it sounds more like enforcement, and people need to get yeah. a note saying you need to clean up your thing, yeah. because there's there's no sense in putting in extra stuff if we're not already. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. Looking at the current stuff. The rub probably comes in under the plainly legible and visible from the street because mm -hmm. I can. I can honestly say that my house number, because the bushes in the front of my house grow mm. half a foot plus a year, you know, or yeah, probably I a have foot a tree year, and by, so it gets it gets covered. You probably couldn't see it driving by at any kind of speed. Mm. According to the United States Postal Service, curbside mailboxes must have the address and or the box number. Mm -hmm. yeah. Perfectly so, visible. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, my good address numbers are on the post of my mailbox which gets hidden in late summer because of the mm -hmm. right. little flower bed right. I have in and that area. My mailbox is on the other side from the front of my house. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So with the with the with the resident that was in question, was it do we know what happened? Was it not visible? Was it yeah, we don't covered know their, up? We don't know their the specifics of their situation, okay. but only that it was enough to spark the conversation of mm -hmm. Could we, should we do more different, right? Yeah. And so, so part this, of the conversation kind of... was, you know, we could require a signpost in the yard, right? right? Yeah. In the yeah. front third of the, right. the yard, centrally located. Yeah. I was just looking at pictures of them. They just are not, I, I didn't see they're not pretty. I mean, yeah. right. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't think we get very much buy-in at all from the community. And I'm well, I mean, make sure it's clearly planted on the, you know, post of your... I mean, it's you're talking. Everyone about has a mailbox. Your life, it's, right? Right. If it yeah. can't be seen, it's a. It's probably an excellent opportunity for someone, either safety or communications, to put something in the newsletter, mm -hmm. right? It's out. a. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, and describing because I, I do think that four inches high minimum stroke width of a half inch, and contracting, contrasting colors, you know, and I wouldn't hate. Uh, or oppose in any way adding that it's got to be lit in in nighttime hours. Like I don't think that's particularly onerous. But it make me violate the code. Yeah, it doesn't have that. I well, don't think but, I've seen any mailbox safe. with it lit. Not, Not your mailbox. mailbox. Well, no, your but like oh, like my house number is like, above my yeah, front door, I and I keep my porch light on. But I also have a tree in my front yard that you can't see through, so you can't see it anyway. Right. Yeah. But if it were lit, you could probably see it from either vantage, right? It's pretty hard to see. Is it? Well, mm -hmm. time to cut that tree. Yeah. <laughs> Does is this a conversation with our code enforcement officer? To it's say, probably hey, yeah. We probably should direct the mayor to. Mm -hmm to have those kinds of conversations with him. Uh, all right, so there we go. I just figured we should open that conversation up a little bit more. Yeah. Uh, did you have anything else for safety? Um, no, those are the two major uh, things. So I believe, right. unless we want to discuss, you know, the dog leash legislation, which I know you meant mainly 
Yeah, I would. I would love to discuss that if that was possible. I know that we. Yeah, that's very I thank missed you. There you go. Uh, a meeting, mm -hmm. so I know that you guys talked about it a little bit about um, the direct control, mm -hmm. having the canine being able to, you know, sit there and do, you know, the few selected commands. Mm -hmm. I think that's a great start. I really do. I am one hundred percent in. You know, in we figure out what mm -hmm. we, we want to do with that. What chief agrees with? Mm -hmm. I think that's a wonderful start to that. We could take that to uh, to legal counsel and uh, and chief chief just to bless it and right. legal counsel to to draft it that we would adopt the similar standard to city of Columbus that is on a leash or able to demonstrate direct control, yep. and this is that definition. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, hey, before it gets away, everyone, look how fat that bump up oh, it got away. It's yeah, no, a big B. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, and then it went away. It was, it was bigger than my thought. It was a yeah. carpenter bee. It was a carpenter bee looking for some wood. Okay, sorry. Okay. I wanted to get that in before it flew away, and then it flew away right as I said it, because I knew that was going to happen. I appreciate it. <laughs> All right. Yeah, so I think we've, we've, uh, we've come around on that one. Then moving down next up, uh, legislative committee. Okay, we have not met since last we had a work session. I do plan, uh, Barb, to have a legislative meeting before the council meeting on the 15th. Is not the 15th. Council meeting wouldn't be on the 15th. It would be the, the 22nd. Okay, 22nd. I had looked and thought there was one on the 15th. We switched them with... Um, Changing our work sessions to Thursday. Yeah. Okay. My mistake. Nope, there is a council meeting on 9 15, 2022 at 7 p.m. I'm looking at the calendar on the website now. That's wrong. Because okay. we passed the legislation earlier. Yep. Yeah. Okay, well, that is still up. That's what happened. I was like, how did I get that so wrong? Well, because yeah. it's still no, it's on the website. Yeah. Um,. So, just for the next meeting, which is, when is that, next week? Um, nothing too much that we have so far. 2022-27. Um, uh, well, it sounds like we, um, by that meeting, we should probably be able to have... Yeah, we'll have more. Lunch. But there's nothing... Uh, Nothing pressing that I've seen, other than, of course, we would have to change that leash, the leash code, but that's easy enough to do, just to take out, strike a line, and put in a different line. All right. Yeah, no, that should be pretty simple. Mm -hmm. uh, all right. Do we want to review the legislation on the thing? On, Which? The, on the docket in the... We have, uh, well, two, two second readings. One is... Yeah, that's what I was started, uh, oh. and you said we're going to have a legislation oh. meeting before then, so I said, oh, no, okay. No, I'm sorry. I didn't understand what you were talking about. Yeah. I'm sorry. Um, the first, and this is our second reading, is 2022-27, uh, authorizing and approving the execution of a contract with Amrick Municipal Consulting Group. I don't need to read the whole thing because we're not an open council. That's our, that's our grant writer. That's our grant writer looking to get us some sewer money. Mm -hmm. Excellent. 2022-28 um, is the actual tax equivalency fund. Yes. Um, this, is, this is where we took out our loan for $100 a year forgetting that MI already collected the first half. Or no, is this a different no, that, one? That went through with the appropriations. This that is did. the other half of it. So oh. this is taking the advancing the funds from the TIF fund to go pay the debt service. Okay. Um I believe I can go double check. Yeah, that. section two, the Mineral Park Tax and Events. The shun shall repay the advance to the general fund in the amount of one hundred and ten thousand oh, okay. each I'm year. Wrong. I apologize. I thought Oh no no this is this is paying back what we took out. Okay. This is this is saying we took two hundred twenty thousand dollars from the general fund to cover the thing, and we will pay it back at one hundred ten thousand a year over the next two years. So this will be TIF money is going back into the general fund, um, which we can do because we borrowed to pay that. Right. 
I assume. I mean, I don't have the financial person here or anyone else, but I assume that's why we can use that money for general fund revenue is because we're taking general fund revenue out. Yeah. yeah. Um, the interesting one is waiving and passing as an emergency to modify the fee schedule. Yeah. Um, it's from $15 to $25 for a special duty cruiser per hour. I do not at all see a reason to waive or pass that as an emergency, maybe as an emergency eventually. I feel like there is an event that they are looking to have the fee increased by. It's it, it's 10 bucks. It's, it's 10, 10 bucks. bucks. Why? I mean, are, yeah. are, are, are there going to be a fleet of five cars out there for 10 days that it's like, hey, this is going to be... We only have four, so... <laughs> Chief could bring his truck or what have you. I don't know. I mean, it, it, it seems like... Yeah, I, I don't feel that that's... Uh... Yeah, no, like what? Well, like, it's 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 ten dollars. Like oh, but we we have people who want to use it. We want to make sure we charge that. It's like it's it's ten dollars, even if it's four times between now and when we can pass it. It's yeah, forty I, bucks. I hear you. Uh, I don't feel strongly either way. We can let the mayor make her impassioned. Plea. She can make her plea, but um, and we can we can. And I have nothing against that. All right. Um, that's all the legislation we have on the books for next time so far. All right. Yeah, I'm sure administrative administration will come up with other things. So now we are down. We are cruising today. Something about the uh, feels nice. Something like about this. the productivity of uh, of sitting at elementary school yeah. size seats that uh, really gets no, you. No, these there. are the full size. Yeah, size. these are full size. Yeah. For me, these are elementary size. <laughs> <laughs> I am I am fearing for the safety of the chair under my <laughs> under my massiveness. No, these are the, the big one ones. One time you did in my house, I was afraid for the our door frame. <laughs> our little entryway that you oh, were. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, anybody have any old business they need to discuss this evening? Nikki's shuffling through. I gotta be more organized. Everybody's like. Together. I think that's personal this business, my, not council this business. This is my organization. I You're swear. Fine. You're fine. <laughs> So. Okay. As of right now. Does somebody over there have a curvy slide? Like one of those curvy yeah. tube slides? Yeah, somebody in the backyard got a little tube slide with oh, a yeah. curve in it. Okay. Lucky though. Yeah. Uh, new business. Excuse me, I did get a request that because we are in, uh, we are doing our meetings now in the Westerville City Schools, that there's a process to reserving the space. So we can't just like, you know, we'd like a meeting in two days from now. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. So the ask is that. Uh, Whenever possible, a two-week lead time. Okay. So. I think that's, mm -hmm. that's yeah. reasonable. Definitely yeah. reasonable. Okay. Yep. yep. Uh, anybody else have any other new business? Going once, going twice. This could be a new Minerva Park land speed record to get through a council work session. I was thinking the same thing. Uh, mm -hmm. I think there may have been one other one that was real short like this in my recollection, but I think similarly it was right after a whole bunch of stuff happened and everyone was like, yeah, there's nothing new today, so let's just go. Um, did we ever pick which options for the color scheme for the new building? Color schemes? Yes. There was two options. I, I don't know, know if we ever... I thought that was settled. Yeah, I thought we went for the mid. I thought we went for the mid-century modern look. Yeah, the they were colors, right? They yeah, were, uh, I don't know. Um, I believe that was addressed. We yeah, yeah. we might want to fire off an email to Eric for confirmation, mm -hmm. but I, I mean, I remember seeing the deck that she yeah. had, but I don't mm -hmm. ever remember mm -hmm. having a conversation. And yeah. I know we did. Yeah. We, we, I, we, I remember. Did. Conversation. I can't say that I remember the outcome. I, I, I remember council person Cost being the only person who was really like, "Ooh, I like this one," and everyone else was like, uh, "Yes, I, could, I, I do. I actually tell the do remember that because she said she was really mm -hmm. into the the mid century. Yes, modern. yeah, but I thought I that do was for the. Santa. I thought that was for the overall look of the building. No, that was just for the color scheme. I think that was, was just because it was, and by color scheme, it's a little bit bigger than that because it's like, okay, do we want? The fake teak or the fake mahogany? Right. Do we yeah. want the fake yeah, brick the or the color, fake it was stone. stone? Yeah. I believe it was all presented in like a package. It was like yeah. 
And there was like, like this one is all of these, this one is all of these. Do you have a, do you have a strong feeling about something? No, I just don't remember us talking about it. So I don't know which direction we're going. Yeah, I, we, you know. You could show them to me and I wouldn't know which one. You could show them to me and I can tell the difference between the two of them if I recall the picture correctly. Exactly, I don't remember. Okay, like baby poop green. I'm pretty down with what Yeah, I don't even, yeah. Okay, not a big deal. I just figured since we're about to start building, if we hadn't picked it, we probably should. Colors. Colors are one of the last things anyways, well, right? With so. the way things are now, how quickly, how early you have to order stuff. That and is you know, true. The metal roof yeah, it's it's not, a, not a horrible so, idea. We can so. we can ask Eric uh, yeah, to, sort of, to, to confirm. So or even, even get, like, I would have to imagine that the um, architects have a render, mm -hmm. rendering with whatever the yeah. understood color choices are. And it's yeah. probably not too late to holler if it is all... You know, mm -hmm. 70s shag gold I and baby poop I green. Just thought, no, I just thought maybe we hadn't done it. No, <laughs> I think we are. Any cool. other new old business? Going once, going twice? I'll make up well, next week. Absolutely. <laughs> then, my friends, we can call this. Uh, I, I move that we adjourn this so week. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? No. Abstentions? All right.